All right. Number one. Takes to me to minute. Strumming fun. One, two, three, four. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. So it's been a minute since we talked about why we're keeping the hand going. Um, the obvious thing is to help keep the timing, but it's so easy to get into a triplet shuffle. Here's the triplet way. Versus back to triplets. Back to our way. See how close they sound similarly? The similarity is very, very close. And if you're thinking, well, they sound exactly the same, that's, I mean, yeah, that's damn near identical. Just basically the triplet way, there's less space in between the chords here. There's less space in between the chords here, but the triplet way. You can hear it better if it's slowed down. But anyway, so just I wanted to say that just in case, just in case you had the thought cross your mind, well, what if I just went down, up, down, up, down? Well, that's why you don't want to do that. No playing on the downbeat except for the final chord. Not a bad idea to actually count the downbeats here in order to keep track of what beat you're on. This is one of those exceptions to only playing what you, or only saying what you play. Here, not a bad idea to also uh, say what you're not playing, or at least whisper it. But anyway, here we go. One, two, three. Use Guitar Pro if this starts getting very tricky to follow. I believe I, we talked about that yesterday, about how if you don't get this one all the way to 100 beats a minute, not a big deal, because it's this one's very easy to start losing track of where the beat is, just like I somehow managed to lose track of where the pick I had been using is. I just realized I grabbed a different pick, or maybe not. I was hiding behind the met or uh, tuner. Just felt like a newer point to me, more than usual. Anyway, on to number three. All right, yeah. Same thing with this. If it starts getting really confusing, 
or challenging to follow the click go back go use guitar pro and uh, help yourself out a bit with that and if you think well or if you ever had a thought well is that cheating I'm gonna say no for right now I mean you're learning the new thing especially the really challenging stuff definitely be able to do it with just a metronome at 60 I think at the slower speeds once you start you know cranking it up there just uh, to help you hear it use it use it to your advantage I do it so if that makes me a cheater fine let's cheat together here we go one two three four Hundred beats a minute. One, two, three, four. All right. Well, I think that covers everything. But if any questions come up, let me know. I'll see you again on Thursday.